All right, in this video, what I'll be going over is how to upload files to RStudio Cloud, which is essentially a free cloud-based version of R that you run through a web browser, and then how you would then export or download files from RStudio Cloud. So after you have a project set up, if you need to upload a file to work on, you actually need to come over here to the Files Tile or Window and click the Upload button. Then you have to come in this window open. You need to click choose file. And then you would then pick the file you want. Now, I actually have three files that I want to upload. Now, you can't select multiple files at a time, so you have to upload one or the other. So, for example, I want to upload the example CSV data. So I would then select that and then click OK. And then it uploads. And when I want the next one, I have to click the upload button again choose file then I want the example our data file and okay and then the final one which is an example Excel data file now this will get them to the file so now they're on the server to work with it won't automatically load them into the global environment if I wanted to load this CSV into the global environment or I want to load the Excel file in the global environment I have to import that data set into a fashion that R can look at it. So from text, read R, and then I would navigate to say the CSV file specifically. It should give me a nice little preview and I can import it. So now I have that CSV file. I can also do this for the Excel file, but I now have to click the option from Excel as I'm importing an Excel file. Select the Excel file to import, and then it gives me a preview of that, and then I can import it. Now, for the R data file, because it is already in a format R can use, I actually need to come over to open because it's already an R file. I don't need to import it into R. And then I have this final data set. So I have my three data sets, okay? Now, perhaps I need to do some work where I need to calculate descriptive statistics for all of these. So perhaps I create a new script that I'm going to say it's an example script where I want to calculate a bunch of means. So the mean of, let's go, one is going to be equal to the mean of we look at this we see that group one is in the CSV data so example CSV data dollar sign group one the mean of group two is the mean of the example CSV data dollar sign group two and then I could run that code now I now have these new values stored in my R environment now, let's say I wanted to save this data file and everything I have in my global environment. I could come over here and I would need to click the save actually in this environment window. And then let's go ahead and call this new example data file. So now I have this new example data file, which is an R data file. And maybe I want to save this script so I'd come over here and I have to click the save icon actually in this window now. Save example script. Save. So I now have my new example data and my new example script. Now say I need those back on my actual computer, not out on someone else's server out in the cloud. Click the checkbox to the left. More. Export. Now, you could name this zip file whatever you want. And so I'm just going to call it example download. And so I will go ahead and download this. And it'll open up a new file. Okay, where do you want this? I actually want it in my documents folder. Okay. So then I can go ahead and save this. And it's saved there. Now, when I go to my documents folder, I have that example download right here. Now I'll need to unzip it, so you can do that a number of ways. You can extract the files and specify a location, 
or you can extract them right here. I like to go with extract right here typically. So that'll pull those two files that we want out of that. So now I have my example script and my new example data file.r. So I could then, now that it's on my computer, upload it to something else if I needed to, such as a learning management system like Canvas or email it to a colleague or archive it on, say, an external hard drive somewhere if I wanted to back it up physically somewhere where I can access it. 